Hi, it's Guy Arnold, Frank McCovey consultant and author of Great or Poor, Sales with Service and Go the Extra Inch. I'm here to talk to you today very briefly about win-win agreements, explain the structure, and then you can see our other videos explain to you how to use win-win agreements in specific situations. So all I'm going to do today is explain the structure. Now, please contact us. We can send you free literature, free information about this. But here is a structure of a win-win agreement. This is how it works, and this is what you need to do with it. The first thing you need to do with a women agreement is a blank of uh, blank of sheet paper. <laughs> you need a blank of sheet paper and a pen. Okay, that's all you need. So a sheet of blank paper and a pen. Okay, all you need for a women agreement. All that you need to remember for a women agreement is the following acronym: I Dr. Grack. So I Dr. Grack. Okay, that's all you need. Now you've got your women agreement. So what does each one stand for and what's the purpose? Okay, first of all, I, I stands for intent. Okay, start any problem, any meeting, any situation with the intent. What is the intent of this meeting? What is the intent of dealing with this problem? What is the intent of planning this, this, this action? What are we trying to achieve from it? And of course, this is a win-win uh, win agreement. So the intent has always got to be a win-win. What is the win for you? What is the win for me? The intent is to find a win for you and to find a win for me. You need to put that in your own words. What's the, what's the win for you? What's the win for me? So the intent is to find a win-win. Always the same thing. Okay? The intent should never change. Secondly, DR. DR stands for desired results. Okay? There you are. Desired results. Note to Guy, use a pen that works better next time you're recording a video. So what are the desired results? What are the desired results you want from this meeting? What are the desired results you want from this project? What are the desired results you want from this activity? Now, whose desired results are you going to talk about first? Mine or yours? Always yours. Always talk about the other person's desired results first. If you get their desired results out on paper, then they've got your attention. They're interested in, in the process then. If you focus on your desired results, I want to increase sales, I want to do all this sort of stuff, it's no interest to the other person. Okay, so make sure that you consider their results first. What do they want first? Oh, and by the way, if we get that, we also want this stuff for ourselves. When you've got your desired results out, you, say to, you ask the other person, is there anything else? Is there anything else you'd like to get out of this idea, process, meeting, um, project? Is there anything else? Okay, so make sure you get a clear outline of the desired results. Right now, those two things probably need planning before your meeting. Okay, but but the anything else is now you're in the meeting. Okay, you've set this out. You're now sitting down the meeting. Guidelines. G guidelines. Okay, all G is the meeting. What are you going to talk about? What are the ideas? And all you do is you take notes. Okay, so you sit and you listen to them first. You say, well. You, these are the desired results we've agreed on, okay? What do you think we should do? And you sit and you listen to them and you take notes, you make notes, and then you ask them questions. What type of questions do you ask? Open questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how, okay? Try and avoid why if you talk and why can be a bit in your face and a bit difficult, you know, to, to, to get a sensible answer from. So why are we trying to do this? Well, I told you we want to increase sales. It's not very helpful. How do you think we could best do this would be a much better question. Okay, so who, what, where, when, and how? Okay, really, really good questions. Peel the onion here. Peel, peel, peel to find out exactly what the other person's trying to, to achieve. When they've finished talking, you've taken notes, you repeat it back to them, you reflect back to them. So what you're saying is this, 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 and this. And then you go, is that right? Have I got it all? Is there anything else? And there may be some more or there may not be. When you've got it to where there isn't any more, they'll say something like, well, well, what do you think? Now it's your turn, okay? Habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Habit five of the seven habits. Now it's your turn to be understood. You write your stuff in here, okay? Now, the wonderful thing about this is, is that probably 80% of your stuff will already have been discussed and they, the other person, will have mentioned it as important to them, okay? So <laughs> you're only left with a small two or three things that you're going to add at the bottom here. So you're sounding really good here, sounding really considerate, and you're really assertive as well, okay? Because you're getting your stuff in, okay? Consideration, first of all, to listen to them. Courage, second, to make sure you get your win as well. Right, you've got your guidelines all, all organised. You now move on to R, which is resources. Okay, what resources are we going to need to make these guidelines work? Okay, resources are going to be time, people, money, and anything else. 
Okay, resources is where you plan what will actually happen. So this person's going to do it in this sort of time, and we're going to need this sort of input for it. Okay, so resources is what time is it? What what's the time issues? What are the what are the people? Who's going to do what? And what money or anything else is going to be needed to make it done? So this is your just sort of your notes of of where actually the resources are going to be applied. Fantastic. We're moving on pretty swiftly now, which is great. Most meetings would now stop. Okay. Most meetings wouldn't do intent to desired results. They just do guidelines and resources. And when they finish, well, we're going to do this by then with so and so. They stop and say, "Yeah, meeting's finished now. That's going to happen." Well, in your experience, how often do things actually get done that have been agreed? Not very often, is it? Okay. And the reason is people don't do A and C. So A is accountability. How are we going to make this stuff work? How are we going to be held accountable to each other? When are we going to meet? What, what, what measures are we going to use? How are we going to actually make this happen? Accountability is critically important. So when, who, what measures, those sort of things. Lots and lots of open questions. Again, you ask them for their idea of accountability. Then it's their plan, then they'll be committed to it. And of course, their accountability will be normally very close to what you wanted in the first place. Okay, so accountability, critically important. Get it written down here. And lastly, when you've agreed your accountability, C absolutely critical at the end. What are the consequences? What are the consequences of success? What are the consequences of, of this going well? What will we talk about then? Where will we go with this then? What are the, the world is our oyster if this goes well? And what are the consequences on the other hand of failure? What happens if this doesn't go well? What will we talk about then? What will we do? What actions will we take? Will it be disciplinary action? Will it be a uh, changing supplier? You know, what will happen if it goes wrong? Let's get this all out in the open so we don't get into arguments later on. So there you have a win-win agreement. Phenomenally powerful, works like magic. The greatest negotiation, sales, disciplinary, personnel, appraisal, project planning and delegation tool you can ever, ever have. Win-win agreements. I, Dr. Grack, all you need is the words, I, Dr. Grack, a pen and a piece of paper. That's all you ever need and you are now the most powerful negotiator in the world. If you want further help on this, you want coaching, training or free resources, you know where to come. It's us.